mess up, or are we able to, like, nope. do another take? No. Yes. So, what type of band do you guys? Uh, right now, I'd say we're, like, a punk garage kind of band. We, like, we go through a lot of phases. Like, we start off being kind of like a surfer's band, mm -hmm. but we played, like, Pipeline and Wipeout, and that was, those were, like, the only two songs to me. And now, um... Well, then we like went through like a phase of playing classical stuff, and now we're playing like punk garage kind of stuff. Um, so we play a uh, garage punk rock kind of music. Um, it's a little grungier than rock, but you know, it's kind of, still kind of the same thing. Brief history of the band. Uh, I actually wasn't there for the start of it. They had a different drummer when they first started in you know, fifth grade. Um, he was pretty cool. I know him pretty well. He's one of my friends. We talked about drumming a lot. And I didn't join the band until about seventh grade. They asked, like, hey, we have this like opportunity to play at our old elementary school. And I'm like, and so like I played saxophone and Brian played trombone and Matthew Anderson played drums and we did the uh, we did like one of our band songs because we were all in the school band. And then in sixth grade, we played the talent show, but we had rock instruments. And then the summer between sixth and seventh grade, we got Connor, the new drummer. And then um, we kind of stopped talking for like about a year. And then uh, we kind of got back together and we got uh, like rock instruments. And that's when we kind of became who we are now. That's pretty much how it started. <laughs> For me personally, it usually changes. Like when I first started to play guitar, um, I looked up to like the Ramones and like Green Day and stuff like that because that was the kind of music I like to play. Um, I really like listening to Volbeat, you know, um, Beartooth, and I really, really like Green Day's new album. Yeah. Now, um, I really like to listen to Jack White, like not even just his like music, but like his ideas of like staying motivated and limiting yourself and you know, it's really inspiring and I like to do that. We started living in an old house. My market birth and we would check in. I love, I love all the new music, especially like the metal and the hard rock right now. It seems like 2016 is like, like the year for new albums, you know, like Metallica put an, out an album, uh, Blink-182, Green Day, those are like my three biggest influences in music, so you know, I've been loving it. Uh, as like the popular stuff today, I'm not a big rap guy, you know, but like there's some stuff like 21 Pilots and you know, that's a big one. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't really listen to a lot of new music except 21 Pilots. <laughs> um, I really like them. <laughs> but other than that, it's not bad. I just That's just not my kind of music that I listen to. Um, if there were still songs coming out like they did in like the 80s and 90s, if we had more songs like that, that'd be awesome too. But I really like what's coming out right now on the rock side. I don't really know about like the pop or rap, rap but... Sure. What was the question? I'm sorry. How, how does music affect your life and your world around you? If you don't... Uh, 
How does that affect you? I love listening to music when I'm doing homework, if I'm at school. You know, like, school is just so boring and there's not a lot of, like, fun things to do, I guess, and like that. Um, it just really helps me stay motivated and inspires me to go on and do bigger things. Even if it's not music related, it just helps me out. Just playing music is just something to look forward to. And like some people enjoy it too, and that's the coolest thing. So, you know. Our grand prize winner of the EP, the music video, the booking, the record store day, the whole nine yards. Please give it up for Time Out. I think we've always just kind of said, like, we're just going to have fun and see where it takes us. I don't know. We're at a really good place right now where we can play shows and people will come and we have fun. So I don't know what is going to happen in the future. But. It does take a long time to get somewhere. Like we didn't, we didn't really play a show like on a big stage until like three years down the road. It's just all about staying together, being able to work with each other, and building off your guys' ideas, and just having fun with it. Like don't expect to play some huge venues your first year, but you know just take it slow and have fun with it. My favorite show, people-wise, I guess, was Ruby Tuesday. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone like there, the, was, everyone there was really washing. really into it, and the other bands were moshing in front of the stage. It was just so fun. Yeah. Experience-wise, I think it was playing at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because we did uh, we did like a battle of the bands competition there, and we got third. And I don't know, it was just really cool because like the whole place was kind of filled with people, and um, it was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so it's like kind of cool to say that. It's kind of cool because people will be really, really into it when you like first introduce yourselves to them and like. 6th and 7th grade and 8th grade talent shows and stuff, but I think now like people are kind of used to it so you have to kind of do new stuff and find new people and just stuff like that and just kind of widen your horizon, so you know, it's been a learning experience. What's, what's the best and the worst part of it? Well it all matters what kind of venue you play, like there's like some shows like Scully's and The Basement, those are awesome places because they're known for their music, you know? Whenever you play in like a club or like, you know, Scholars or like the basement or something like that, they hook up your amps and the drums and stuff and you feel like an actual band when you play because like the stage moves and the audience is dark so it doesn't matter how many people are out there, like you still feel like pretty cool I guess. Playing with other bands and getting to meet new people, they bring a lot of different people to the, to the crowd and we bring people and it's kind of fun to like try to influence each other's crowds and just listen to other bands. The worst part is it's gotten to the point where they don't really promote it and we have to promote it ourselves and that's really difficult. So um, yeah, just getting people to like go out, especially to like downtown Columbus, that's probably the worst part. The worst thing would either have to be the cost or how far away it is. Like sometimes we'll have shows downtown where parking's impossible and tickets will be like ten dollars. Um, so it, yeah that's like the worst part. Advice would you give to them? I'd say um, 
the first few years you're a band, it's probably not going to go your way at all. You're probably going to be playing really crappy shows like we did in front of like 10 people. Yeah, if, if you're going to be starting a band, you know, you just, you want to have fun with it. Don't expect like, like a lot from it. Like, you know, you know, the audience isn't going to have fun if you're not having fun. You don't want to be forced into it. Um, when we practice, we just come down here and goof off. Like, we practice seriously, but we just we also like to goof off a lot. Uh, make sure you know the guys you're playing with. It's not just some like guys you like met around town and like kind of forced the band together. That's why I think my band's like been together so well, like for so long because they've been I've known them for like eight years now, you know. And uh, yeah, if you love music, you love to play. You have some friends that play. You might as well do it. Even if it's like in your basement or just playing for your school, you know, yeah. just do it. But every single show you do, you grow off it. And uh, I think we're just kind of getting to the point where we're starting to play a little bit better shows. And every single show is a little bit better than the last one. So, you know, don't give up. Just learn from your mistakes and keep growing. And, you know, just like learn some songs, invite some friends over, and just play for them. And you'll have a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to do. So yeah. I really recommend it. Well, I've run out of questions, so I think we're good. Yay! That's like our parents. Yeah. Oh. We mix Cheetos with tortilla chips. It's not a good kind of <laughs> bad, bad idea. Go, go. We had to wait till you were done before we came down here. Well, it was like all of Black Sabbath was there, and there was Ozzy sitting there, and he's like, like that. And then they said to Ozzy, like, so Ozzy, like, have you reached your milestone goal of being in a band? And he's just like, for like 20 seconds, and I'm like, Ozzy, Ozzy. And he goes, yeah. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're live. <laughs> Don't try and bring me down. That was bad. <laughs> it's a long way! Oh. <laughs> Asking like what uh, any pointers for up and coming bands, and I didn't say the thing. Are you proud of me? I guess. Uh.